fans, Joe Motion Videos 82 here. It is time for another G.I. Joe toy review, and I most sincerely apologize for this coming out so late in the week. Uh, just work has been uh, a little, little too busy for my liking. Um, not that I don't mind the hours, it's just the condition that the, patient, the patients are in. Uh, it's, just been a little bit rough. Um, so, all that being said, here is today's review. Um, it's April 1st, and we're kicking off Ninja Month. Uh, this is in collaboration with uh, Cobra Island, aka Mark Hoke. So, you can head on over to his channel and check out his videos. Uh, Mark is a pretty good guy. Um, one of the kindest people I've met. Uh, big fan of G.I. Joe. He reviews a lot of modern stuff. Uh, he has a great collection. Some pieces that I actually uh, admire quite a bit. Um, he has some of the more rare Dreadnought vehicles. Um, so this review is, uh, dedicated to Chris Baratus, or Baratus, I'm sorry if I mispronounced your name, Chris. Uh, he is a huge martial arts fan. Uh, he was the one that requested Budo, and, uh, I am so glad that we reviewed that figure. Uh, he was one I've been wanting to review and couldn't quite really f think of a way to fit him in and then um you know chris came came aboard and said hey could you review budo for me so uh, definitely glad we did that i learned a, a lot more about uh, the ninja the samurai culture um by reviewing him and uh, nobody do uh, one of my viewers from Japan uh, also mentioned that uh, Budo's name came from um, a specific island in Japan. His name was regional to that island, so that was a pretty cool piece of history. Uh, so Chris reviewed, wanted to review the um, Ninja Viper. Uh, the original Ninja Viper came out in 92 in the three and three quarter inch size. Uh, he is pretty hard to find and when you do it is very expensive. Um, he is right up there with uh, the gold-headed Steel Brigade who came out that same year. So, I found the modern Ninja Viper that, um, a little less expensive. So, um, here you go, Chris. The, here is the review of the Ninja Viper. This one came out in 2008. He is version 2 of the Ninja Viper. Uh, he was released with the eight, eighth wave of the single pack figures in 2008. Uh, let's see, I'm just going reading right off yojo.com. There were only three versions of this action figure, and the next one was completely red. Uh, this, this one looks really awesome. So let me go ahead and pull those pictures up for you. Uh, the original retail price, um, I really don't know. <laughs> um, I it's not listed on yojo.com, and I wasn't uh, regularly buying uh, action figures at that time. Uh, at least for myself 
um, during that time uh, I was buying on a regular basis um, Pirates of the Caribbean well no that didn't come out until much later so 92 it was not even Star Wars or 2008 I'm sorry uh, yeah it was Pirates of the Caribbean that I was buying uh, getting those for my daughter so anyway let me go ahead and pull up pictures of the Ninja Viper carded and the red Ninja Viper very very cool looking action figure if I could pause the camera oh cool figure um, I have not looked for that one on eBay yet uh, Actually, I really didn't know he existed, to be honest with you, until this review. So it just goes to show you that we continue learning. And um, these reviews have been a, a wealth of knowledge, especially from you guys uh, with your requests. And uh, just the knowledge that you share in the comments, I've learned so much more about G.I. Joe, about toys in general. Uh, just from being in um, that field of interest, uh, you know, it lets you in on on a, a secret here. Uh, when I was well younger, of course, but um, I was ashamed of collecting toys. I was kind of embarrassed, uh, especially when I was really heavy into Star Wars um, I didn't really share my toy collection very much with people uh, just, just very close friends that was it um, and they would bring their kids over to look at at my toy collection um, because you know here I was an adult and I was collecting toys I I really didn't know that there were so many adults that were into it it um, it was liberating for me to finally come out and say hey <laughs> here I am I collect toys and now I'm not ashamed at all to talk about it uh, I, I share my collection uh, pictures of it with friends at work and of course with all of you guys you know throughout the world and that you know it's that taught me also it's it's okay to have a hobby and really enjoy it and not be afraid to to share it with other people uh, I realize that it's not an immature thing to to collect um, to collect toys. It's it's actually really fun, and it's even more fun now because I'm sharing it with everybody. So back to the Ninja Viper. Uh, I pulled up a picture of the one that came out in '92. He was a male in. And of course, I was still collecting G.I. Joe back then, but I wasn't getting very many of the mail-in offers, even though I had a, a regular cash flow from my job. Uh, I didn't really pay much attention to the mail-in offers, and I, I wish now that I would have. The only one that I had bought was um, Joe Colton, or A.K. A, the original G.I. Joe uh, what I had done was sent in for the 12 inch version um, you know mailed in the money and my flag points and all that and apparently Hasbro was out of the 12 inch because he was a mail mail away exclusive instead they sent me the three and three quarter inch which yeah, I was kind of disappointed because I was really heavy into the the twelve inch figures, and I had those setting up on my desk. And I I really uh, like those, but um, they take up a lot of space now as 
as an adult, and um, I, I phased out of those with Star Wars. I collected quite a few of the 12-inch as well, and that's when I realized they, they took up space, and it really didn't fit in. You know, I, I had to, especially with Star Wars, I had to rein it in and uh, just collect the smaller action figures, the 4-inch. So, um, nowadays I, I regret doing it, not um, doing the, the mail-in exclusives. So, the version 1 of this figure was obviously a repaint of um, Storm Shadow, and he just came with uh, two of Storm Shadow's swords. Alrighty, so, with all of that being said, let's go ahead and look at this review so here you go chris the ninja viper i apologize it wasn't version one but um here he is he this one comes with a lot of accessories very cool action figure all right here he is the ninja viper uh, let's go ahead and start with his uh, file card. You can see it was clipped off of the card back. So it reads Ninja Viper or Cobra Ninja. Code name Cobra Ninja Viper. File name is Various. His parents must not have liked him very much. It couldn't figure out a name for him. Primary military specialty Ninja. No kidding. Secondary military specialty Sabotage. Yeah, ninja stuff right there. His birthplace is classified. Well, I'd classify my birthplace if my name was various, too. Uh, recruited from the highest ranks of the Cobra Viper Corps, the Cobra Ninja Vipers are the most elite representation of ruthlessness in Cobra. Only the most sinister and cunning individuals are selected for duty as Cobra Ninja Vipers. And that's all in capitals, so I should have been yelling when I said that. There are no less than the 10th level black belts in karate, jiu-jitsu, and kung fu. These villains are extremely obedient and always carry out their orders to the letter. They function as a covert, uh, subver subversives who can persuade anyone to do their bidding by entrapping the person in one of their um, patented, really patented, uh, martial arts maneuvers. They patent their maneuvers. Okay. Um, if given the opportunity, Cobra Ninja Vipers could wreak enough havoc worldwide to seriously damage the G.I. Joe team's operations. Here reads a quote in the third paragraph. He who masters the art of self-discipline can crush an adversary, even the G.I. Joe team. Okay. So, I kind of wanted that to read as a proverb. So, the Ninja Viper came with a plethora of weapons. Here are two commas that are attached to this uh, string. Uh, they're made to look like they're on wood handles. Uh, the holes are actually drilled in there not um, to lighten the blade, but the type of steel that's used with these, uh, the it doesn't the blade isn't weakened it's a uh, very high carbon steel i believe oh so these are pretty formative weapons um the paint apps unfortunately on here are are not as good some of the silver splashed over or they just didn't paint on the wood or the brown paint very well just quickly produce these uh, he came with a claw. Uh, this is uh, something that came with Storm Shadow version 2. It clips 
right onto his wrist. You just slip it on just like that. Holds pretty good. Looks sort of like Wolverine. Uh, he also came with an Uzi, not necessarily a silent weapon, but nonetheless, he is a Cobra Viper, so he does need a firearm. Uh, he came with this knife, very tiny knife. It fits right down here in his sash. And it, here on his back, he came with a backpack that looks very similar to uh, Storm Shadow version 1. Uh, and two swords. So let's take a look at this first sword. See it has a dragon head on the handle. Pretty decent sword. Uh, the furniture on here. Um, on the, the sword you can see it's made to... Looks like it has a silk wrap on it. The other sword is identical. And I really haven't done much with this backpack at all so it looks like it opens up so let's try and do that without breaking it oh let me pause the camera all right yes yeah, so it does open up uh, rather laboriously uh, here on the back you could see that he has a rope and uh, a hook, a grappling hook. He has more claws, and there's some claws down in here, the tiger claws for gripping and for slashing, a carabiner, uh, and some other little weapons in there. Nice accessory, that's what I like about these modern figures. Uh, also has more rope down here at the bottom that's lashed on. Pretty cool accessories. And his figure stand, of course, reads Cobra Ninja Viper, and it has a raised Cobra insignia. Uh, he's wearing your typical ninja garb. Uh, here on his legs, he has uh, bamboo shin guards, nice paint applications on there. And, of course, his sash, done in white, to really break up the blue to complement the figure. He has two throwing stars down there, also shuriken, unknown as shuriken. And the belt wraps all the way around. And I like his gi that he's wearing here. Very cool looking. Now this could be worn without a shirt underneath for that more impressive bare arm look or where as he is and uh, he doesn't quite have a serious look on his face but uh, nonetheless really cool figure um, I like the, the insignia on there just the this blue teal blue color really makes it pop looks great I actually have a pair of scrubs in this color um, a, a great looking figure all together. The accessories are what really does it for me. Uh, these modern figures come with a boatload of them, sometimes too much, but for this guy it really works. Um, ninjas are proficient as well as samurai in many forms of weapons. Uh, I had mentioned with the uh, weapons during this era in Japan that they were originally farming instruments turned into weapons. Well, these look like they would have been used to harvest grain. Just pick up a stalk of grain and cut it, kind of like a small sickle. Very cool. Uh, uh, especially like the Uzi. I mean, you could never go wrong with this. It's an Israeli weapon. Uh, I remember seeing these for sale back in the 80s and 90s uh, in uh, gun shops. It's hard to find them these days if you could even get them. But uh, I never bought one. 
didn't really see the reason for it. But anyway, great looking weapon. These are, you know, classic, kind of a callback to Snake Eyes and his ever popular Uzi. So, this is a, a great action figure. Uh, it's sold for a, a fairly decent price uh, when I had purchased this around the time that I reviewed Budo. Uh, I think I paid less than $20 for it. I can't remember exactly how much, but it, it was... It was a great price when I saw it, so I, I grabbed him and figured, hey, you know what, um, I, I knew we were going to do Cobra Month, so, or um, Ninja Month at um, Cobra Island, or Mark Hoke and I are collaborating on, so I said, uh, you know, let's buy this, kill two birds with one stone, uh, use it to participate with... Uh, Ninja Month, as well as um, answer a viewer request. So, that brings me to my favorite segment, Byron's Gripes. Uh, for those of you just joining, thank you very much for stopping by and checking my channel out. Uh, please consider uh, subscribing. I hold giveaways for my sub subscribers and channel supporters um, with every goal that's reached so I have a lot of great prizes to give out so um, please um, consider subscribing that's all you need to do to be eligible for a giveaway of uh, also um, I do Byron's gripes as a form of entertainment to and to um, also give you guys an idea of what to expect when you're out shopping for these on the aftermarket. Um, so it wouldn't come to you as a shock or to even think to answer the questions. Is this a good deal or is it not? Uh, it all really depends on your budget. Everybody's idea of a good deal varies from another. Um, uh, for me, a good deal um, is fairly cheap. <laughs> you know, I've self-proclaimed tightwad when it comes to buying for myself, but for others, I'm uh, quite a bit more generous. Uh, so anyway, um, I don't do this to pick on eBay or the sellers. I use eBay just as a quick reference. Um, this channel. And personally, I am not about picking on others. I am not a bully. I detest bullies. So here we go. Let's see what eBay has. We'll be looking at it live, nearsighted. So off come the glasses. Need them to see, but I don't need them to see. Need bifocals. Okay, the 1992... Ninja Viper it says mail in G.I. Joe action figure, broken crotch, no accessories, $170 or better offer. Oh, thank you so much for softening that blow. Oh, ow, oh, $170. It's pure, unadulterated greed. Uh, the Red Ninja Viper version 3, which came out in 2012, $29.99 or better offer. Uh, let's see, that one's auction. I rarely bid or rarely uh, mention the auction prices uh, because they're always fluid. Unless it's germane to what I'm talking about, and this one not necessarily. Um, let's see the a carded 2008 Ninja Viper 3149. Not too bad for a carded figure. Um, I really wasn't a carded figure collector, but. I've come across some pretty decent deals on carded figures, so I, there goes my alarm, uh, 
so I've I buy them when I see them that are a, a good price so that's not too bad I'll put that up with deal of the day uh, the 2005 there's a red ninja in 2005 27 dollars or a better offer I'll put that deal of the day as well that's one that one's not complete um, let's see, here's, so that's auction, here's one that is complete and loose, $29.99. Yeah, that's, that's a bit expensive if you ask me. Um, oh, I can't believe somebody did this. Oh, this hurts. Oh, never mind, it's a Toys R Us exclusive. I didn't know about this one. Um, it looks like, this is why I said it hurt. It looked like somebody took a blue, or the three and three quarter inch mail-in and painted it red. Uh, that's why I said it hurt. It's like you took a valuable toy and destroyed it. But I, I didn't know about that one. It, it's, it's a Toys R Us exclusive and it looks like it giving the paint apps. But, kind of hard to tell uh, some of these customizers are fantastic uh, that's 3519 now uh, here's a, another ninja viper the 2008 32.99 oh geez here we go guys clutching my pearls on this one oh wow okay this is the 92 as I aforementioned five hundred eighty five dollars it's carded of course it comes with the red card back or I mean it's still in the bag or better offer thank you so much generous seller for willing to negotiate the last person that said or better offer did not budge one cent so I just stopped negotiating I mean I I started getting within Let's say, for instance, he was selling the item for $21 or a better offer, so I bid 19 rejected, 20 rejected, $20.25, rejected, $20.50, rejected. It's like, no, don't do or better offer if you're going to start counting pennies. You know, that's just frustrating. I won't deal with people like that. Here's another one. Six, uh... $699.99 just to prove to you that I'm not making that up it is still in in the bag um, it's pretty cool that people had the um, enough sense to keep these in the bag and more than likely it was somebody around my age group that was still collecting at that time you know in their teens so they they knew it would be worthwhile um, here's another one that's complete, uh, $429.99, it's loose. Like I'm saying, it's, it's just greed right now. Uh, it, it's sick. Cause it, it makes it hard for the average person that doesn't have an expendable cash flow to your nine to five or with a family and two cars and even for kids who are wanting to start to collect to buy these things because people are just they're being greedy i get it people make a living off of ebay but come on i'm not going to make your house or your car payment with one action figure so stop it but the thing is, people are still paying these prices, so these prices are going to continue to go up. So, I'm sorry guys, it's just, it, it is so frustrating. Oh, let's see. It's going down the list here. Oh, there's one that comes with the Night Creeper that was two packed. Okay, his sword four ninety nine. Some custom heads for sixty bucks. Um, Cyber Viper, that's pretty cool. 
Cyber Ninja Viper. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Uh, here's another one. It's a little bit cheaper for the 92 figure. Um, it says Dark Grey Sword variant. I didn't know there was a variant on there. Uh, 600 bucks or better offer. Thank you, Mr. Generous Guy, for doing your or better offer. That just makes me so warm inside. Uh, his knife, that tiny, tiny knife, $1.95. His backpack, $2.95. Uh, okay, I'm going to put this one up with deal of the day. Oh, that's Black Major. Never mind. That is not deal of the day. Um, just there is no real set price on, well, actually any of these, but Black Major, I don't know much about how the prices go. It's pretty much whatever, whoever wants, will throw it to the wall, see if it sticks. This one is reduced by 10%. Since he did reduce the price, I'm going to put it with deal of the day. It's the, the mail-in exclusive, $629.99 originally $699.99 so it looks like the $600 mark is where it is at oh uh, here is one <laughs> oh man this one must have had to climb to the top of Mount Everest with Sir Edmund Hillary to get this one it's the mail-in, factory sealed, new, rare, I don't know how rare it is, but okay. $999.95, and he has the audacity to charge $20 for shipping. $3.75 to ship this. Gouging somebody on shipping just really irritates me. For instance, I was looking at the armadillo the other day, just to look. And um, there was a guy selling his for $5.95. I thought, whoa! So it pays to read shipping. He wanted $27 to ship this inside the continental United States. If you're going to insure the shipping for extra money, which really they automatically guarantee um, $1,000, but good luck collecting it because I've had stuff damaged or lost in shipping. And I filed a claim with the post office and nothing happened. I'm sure they have millions of claims that they have to go through, but nonetheless, nothing happened, not even an email responding. Here's one. I'm going to put it up with Deal of the Day because he does have it graded. It's incomplete with an AFA grade of 85, but um, I had aforementioned in several reviews that the AFA grading system is sort of flawed because... Um, Analog Toys, um, Tony uh, from the UK, did an experiment with a grade. He took the same action figure that he had graded, and you, you pay quite a bit of money to have it graded. He broke open the acrylic case that it was in, resealed, uh, and sent it back. And when they sent it back again, that very same action figure came back with a different grade. So that told me that they don't really have a system, a set system to grade. It really depends on the appraiser. So all that being said, this one is $499.99. Uh, so I'll put that with deal of the day. Uh, here's another one. Uh, $99. $999.99, $1,000, but he softens the blow being the generous individual that he is and is doing 
free shipping. So thank you, kind sir. <laughs> and going down the list, going down, going down. There's some really... Look at this very cool ninja statue, the Ninja Viper statue. I don't collect statues, but look at that. That is simply a work of art. It makes me want to collect these, but I just don't have room. I'll do another collect, no, collection room tour somewhere down the road, but you, you'll see that I just don't have room anymore. Um, here's two that are carded, one for $34.49, another for $29.99, uh, $34.95. Uh, twenty nine ninety nine or better offer twenty nine ninety nine or better offer so you know I'll throw those in with deal of the day why not another one twenty nine ninety nine here's one with an AFA grade um, the modern the one I just reviewed uh, um, nine point two five which is phenomenal I've never seen one with such a high grade one hundred twenty bucks. This one twenty nine ninety nine thirty four ninety nine thirty four ninety two thirty four ninety nine. So that looks like you know in the thirties is the average price for these guys. Uh, full card back three dollars fifty one cents. Not bad, really. Um, I mean, it looks like the low to mid thirties is the the going rate for the carded figures uh, forty dollars forty five dollars and that is it we're at the very end so there you have it guys the ninja viper let me know what you think please leave me a comment i do answer back um chris i need to apologize i saw your questions on uh Regarding Budo and uh, just some of your really brilliant ideas that you have for the storyline for a character you're working on. Uh, I saw them, but for some reason, there's a glitch with uh, YouTube, so I couldn't answer it. Every time I clicked on your question... It would disappear, but it would show up in the question section. So I'm I wasn't ignoring you, Chris. I I want you to know that, um, or anybody else who's left a question has gone gone unanswered. I do my very best to answer your questions. You're kind enough to leave one for me, so the least I could do is respond back to you. I leave a heart for everybody who does um, ask a question, unless it's a harassment then I'll just simply delete you um, I've received a few of those and uh, it's just people just being vindictive trolls I guess that's what the kids call them these days but um, I just call them cyber bullies uh, so yeah I do feel bad if I can't answer your question or at least leave a heart for you to let you know that I did see it. So, Chris, I do sincerely apologize for that. Uh, not ignoring you, buddy. I, I promise you that. So, thank you very much for tuning in. Please subscribe and share these videos with your friends. And please watch these to the end. I should have put that announcement in at the beginning. It really helps with these videos. It helps... Um, YouTube, when... Well, you, I'm not necessarily sure how it works exactly, but the longer the view, the more YouTube distributes the video, and that helps this channel grow. And I'm not doing growing the channel for my own ego. Um, I'm, it, I, I just I'm setting goals for myself, and I do my best to achieve these goals that I set, and. I just want more people to see uh, the the passion and to to share this with other people to really get out there and share my love of toy collecting with others. So um yeah, I do appreciate everybody who watches this to the end. Um you guys are are fantastic. 
Um, thank you very much to my new subscribers. If your channel is made public, um, I definitely subscribe back to you to let you know that I did see your subscription. So thank you guys very much for that. Um, thank you. Huge thanks to my channel supporters out there, people who have donated to this channel or have assisted with, um, uh, with this channel in some way where people have collaborated with me. Yeah, thank you guys very much for that. I do appreciate your help. Um, so anyway, you guys take care. Stay safe out there. Uh, please um, get vaccinated for COVID. Uh, talk to your doctor about it to see if it's, it's right for you. Um, discuss it with your family. Um, please continue to social distance, wear your mask, wash your hands. That's the most important part right there is washing your hands. You just don't know how grody your hands could get. Uh, even though they look clean, they're never 100% clean. Um, the closest you get as being 100% clean is if you do a sterile scrub, which you do before a sterile procedure. and. That's, that's a laborious process. You have to do it for over two minutes. And I could look at, just a side note, I could look at somebody in public and tell that they're a surgeon because their hands are a little bit lighter than the rest of their skin because of all the scrubbing that they do. Um, so, anyway, guys, please be, take care of yourselves. Protect yourselves out there. You know, even though the vaccine is out there, it doesn't mean we're out of danger. As long as the virus is there, we're still in danger. Think of it. It's not the flu. So don't don't stare and say, oh, yeah, Joe Motion says it's, it's the flu. No, it isn't. I am comparing. The flu is out there, right? We get our vaccine, the flu vaccine, so we don't get the flu. COVID is always going to be out there, but as long as we continue to get the vaccine, we'll be okay. So, it's it's always going to be out there. So, what well, we'll just be safe. Let's <laughs> put it that way. Stay safe, you guys. Enjoy life. Get out. Get out. And. Out in, the, the, out in nature, the weather's nice. Enjoy a nice little picnic with your family or whatever. Just do something to relax. Remember, be kind to everyone, especially right now. Things are just bass backwards. People are grouchy, including myself, and I apologize for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's getting, this is really wearing on a lot of people. And, um, always 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 be kind to animals they know nothing but unconditional love so until next week you guys stay safe enjoy yourselves and let you know i love you guys so please take care of yourselves i want to see you around a lot more so this is joe motion videos 82 saying love peace and monkey grease talk to you later bye bye